Hey everyone, Dr. Troy Dukwitz here, and I just want to share a quick message with you. And, and the topic or the title of this discussion is, they threw beer bottles at me. So uh, nobody was harmed in this video, just so you know. And so what happened is last night I put my kids to, get to bed and they fell asleep. I got up and came out and my wife was kind of in and out, getting ready to fall asleep and she fell asleep. And I just wanted to do something. You know, I, I a few nights ago I went for a, a walk and I, I just, I wanted to, to go run, really. It's been months since I've been able to run. I've had some knee issues over the course of this year and I had like six runs all summer and I thought, man, I just want to get out and go for a run. My workouts have been going great. I want to go for a run and it's a beautiful night. So I laced up the shoes about 10 o'clock last night and I went out for a run. And as I turned the corner, and it, first of all, it just felt great. You know, it's kind of like airing out the pipes. It's like, holy crap, this just feels good to get moving this way again. And I don't even like to run, but it was really cool and it was very peaceful and it's it just, you know, kind of a cloudy night. You could see some of the stars, no cars on the road. And it was just, it was really a cool experience. And I went running by a bar. And when I ran by the bar, it got me to thinking. It got me to thinking about an experience some like 25 years ago that I had when I was in college. So let me set this up for you. I went to the University of Illinois. And when I went there, uh, one particular year, I tried to walk on uh, and, uh, for Illinois football and I didn't make it. So I went back and said, all right, I'm going to train harder and I'm going to make this team. I am, I am like committed to making this team team. And so literally I had one year left in school and I was going to find a way to make this team. And so I would train. They had this, this big white bubble over the stadium and they would be doing like winter practices and stuff like that. Well, according to NCAA rules, you're not supposed to be having practices, but they would do like training and stuff like that. And I would run the stadium stairs while they were inside practicing. And when they were done with practice, then I would run, I'd still keep running and running, running, and then I'd go home. And we're talking about Champaign, Illinois. If you ever, it's like flat farmland, super cold in the winter, and I'm training. And then on Friday nights, I would go for runs. And so like while all the other college kids are out partying, I'm like running down the street, you know, on, on a Friday night, freezing, but running and training. And just, I'm, I'm focused, like I'm gonna make this team. They had spring ball was coming up. That's when the tryouts were. I'm gonna make this team. And on one particular night, I, I still, I just remember this so vividly, I'm running and these kids drive by, college kids drive by, and they throw beer bottles at me and they start calling me names while I'm out there training. And it's like, it, it just, it just floored me. I couldn't believe, first of all, I just couldn't believe it was happening. You know, I'm just, I'm minding my own business. I'm training. I have something I want. I'm going for it. And these kids are like throwing beer bottles at me. And so I kept training. And the months would go by and here it was. I finally had this opportunity to walk on and play football for the University of Illinois. And uh, they had, you know, kind of like spring ball and I got to participate in it and then nothing. And I kept training and kept training and kept training. And finally, in August of that year, I got the phone call to report for the University of Illinois football team. And it got, so I'm running and I'm thinking about this and, and nobody threw beer bottles at me last night. So that was super cool. And I just kept running and I'm just thinking in my mind and I'm just thinking about like, you know, the, the, the mental frame of mind you have to be in to want something so bad that you'll just do whatever it takes. Like, that's just it. Like, you, you, you've done it before. you like, there's things that you've said that you've wanted. I've done it before. There's things that we've said that we wanted and we didn't get them. It's like, well, did I want it that bad? Because if I want it that bad, I'll do the work that's necessary to get there. Like, that's it. How many more seminars do you have to go to, to to hear people fire you up about changing the world or changing your life before you actually just do the work that's necessary to get what you want? I mean, that's what it comes back to. How bad do you want what you say that you want? And it's a matter of then, if you say you want it, you really truly want this next level, whatever it looks like for you. If you truly want it, are you willing to do the work that's necessary to get there? So that's gonna mean investment sometimes in money and investment sometimes in time. Uh, it's gonna mean uh, maybe staying up later, getting up earlier. It's gonna mean doing the work that's necessary to get there. And so if you look down the road and you go, man, uh, here I am, it's, it's October 2019, and here I am, and, and I don't really have what I said that I wanted this year. Uh, man, what happened? When, the, the year's gone by so fast, I just can't have it. It's like, no, you course correct right now. Do you want what you say that you want? And if you do, then you got to do the work that's necessary to get there. It's not going to just magically arrive. You have to actually put your attention on your intention and do the work that's necessary to get to where you want to go. So, and, and what we know is, is like, so my health, if I don't have a conscious effort in my health and eventually it will decline, I'll gain weight. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, you know, maybe I'll start to experience some pains that I haven't had before. And so what do I do? I, I, I have to like do something about it. 
have to do something about my health. My relationship, if I'm not in a relationship that makes me happy, I have to do something about it. If it's time to leave, it's time to leave. If it's time to, to like double down on the relationship, then double down on the relationship. Do the work that's necessary. Like it's a matter of like, how bad do you want what you say that you want? And then you will stop at nothing to get there. And I don't mean that you're an asshole about it. I don't mean that you're, uh, you know, like you step on people to get there. I mean that you're willing to do the work that's necessary to get to where it is that you want to go. That's it. I walked on to that team because I was ruthlessly committed to the outcome. I knew exactly what it is that I wanted. And I walked on and I made the team. And so the question I have for you is how bad do you want what you say that you want? Number one. Number two, what are you willing to do to get there? Are you willing to put in the extra work? And look, I'm out running at 10 o'clock at night. My kids are in bed. So there's no sacrifice to my time with my family. If you know me, I'm a family man. Like my wife fell asleep. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm lacing up the shoes and I'm going. I did it the other night. Everybody was asleep. I'm like, okay, well, I don't feel like watching TV. I don't feel like sitting at my computer. I've been coaching all day and working all day. I feel like just detaching and going and doing something for me. And so I go out and I have this run. I go out and I have this walk. I go out and I just look at the stars. Like these things that are giving me power. As I go out for the run, it's giving me power. It's one, working on me. Two, giving me more focus, giving me creativity, opening up the, like just the, the, the gates of creativity when I do stuff like that. Like I know how I work, so it just gets me more fueled up. Yeah, there's a little issue when you come home and you're like wired now and you don't want to go to sleep. But then what do I have to do? I have to, okay, well, I got to wind down. I got to sit down. I got to meditate. I got to take a few deep breaths. Just be calm because I got to get to bed at a reasonable time because I got to make sure that I get up tomorrow morning and I'm ready to roll with the kids. See, you can have whatever it is that you want. Stop using your children as an excuse. Stop using work as an excuse. Stop using everything around you as an excuse and start looking for solutions on how you're going to do the work. And at the end of the day, look, your solution lies within. You know, it, 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 like, it's amazing to me. Like we go to seminars and we want more information and I want to learn more about marketing and I want to work more, learn more about closing and I want to learn more about that. Like you have all the actions. You don't need more information. You need more implementation. I'll say it again. I've been saying it for years. You do not need more information. You need more implementation. Just do the shit you said you were going to do and your life will change. But how bad do you want it? So for me, it's about ruthless commitment. And it's about doing the work that's necessary. And I want to also share with you the other side of this. No, oh, man, every day isn't perfect. I have days where I'm not as productive as I wanted to be. It happens to me too. I have days where I might not be as focused. I have days where I get distracted. It just happens. I hate it when people come and try to act like, this is just how I am 24-7. Look at me. I'm awesome. And it's like, yeah, you know what? I am awesome. A, let's be clear on that. But B, there are days that are more challenging. There are days that I don't get as much done as I want. And I am an avid scheduler. Like I've been doing scheduling for almost 20 years now. And I follow the schedule and I follow the routine. And sometimes, you know, sometimes those things just don't stick. Sometimes I have to shift things around a little bit and I have to course correct on the fly. It happens. But those become the exception to the rule when you're clear on what you want and you're ruthlessly committed to getting it. And what's so important and pivotal about this discussion is that that's why we look at four domains. That's why we look at our health, our spirituality, our relationships, and our business. Because it keeps me from, you look at last night, last night was an investment in my health. That's what that was all about. And so we often think it's like, it's all about work, work, work. Yeah, it is. It's work in your relationships, it's work in your health, it's work in your spirituality, and it's work in your business. It's the synergy of working on all these things in your life so you can grow and expand and flourish, create deeper connections, have greater focus, and be more productive in all areas, not just one. You've got this. You can do this. You just got to make sure that what you want is what you say that you want and understand and realize that sometimes people are going to throw beer bottles at you. Sometimes it's going to rain on a sunny day. Sometimes it's going to feel like things aren't going your way, but you can either buy into it and stop. Like in that, my case, I could have stopped training because I don't want people throwing beer bottles at me or you put your head down and you keep running and you keep running towards what it is that you want and eventually you will get there. That's all I've got for you here today. Hey, if you have any questions or comments or you need anything, reach out to me, Dr. Troy at commitandgo.com. For those of you who are clients, you know I love and appreciate you. I hope this gives you a boost of energy and focus. And for those of you who aren't, you're just viewers or followers, I appreciate you. I love you. And look, you have an opportunity. Maybe it's time you and I talk. So shoot me an email, Dr. Troy at commitandgo.com. Otherwise, watch this video over and over and over again until you find what you want and you're ruthlessly committed to getting it and go after it. For all of you, 
You've got this. I'm Dr. Trudy Quitz. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.